it's Adam Mahler from myprojects.ie and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your tables in the APA format from SPSS automatically. To begin the process, you have to first look at how your table looks ordinarily without any APA formatting in SPSS. So you pretty much have a table, the title is in bold, which is not supposed to be like that, and you have all these uh, rows and column lines dividing your table, which we don't want. And when we finish the format in SPSS, you should have a table that looks like the after APA formatting table, which is pretty much what you want your output to look like to confirm with the APA styling. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, you go to your SPSS output. If you don't have any tables in the output, you can run a test in SPSS to generate a table. For this particular tutorial, I'm going to be using the total self-esteem table to show you how you can convert your tables to the APA formatting. So what we're going to do now is right click on this table and go to edit content in viewer. Now you can see that the table is changed. You right click the table again and this time around you select the table looks. In this table looks, you're going to select the compact academic and edit that look. So now we have to edit the look to confirm with the APA styling. The first thing you will change is your font. You have to make sure that the font is Times New Roman, which is recommended for the APA styling, and make sure that the font size is 12. Now, the problem with the process is that uh, SPSS does not allow you to automatically change the font size and style for each of the elements in your table. So in the area tab, you have to select each element and change it one after the other. So we start with the title first. When you select the title, you change the font to Times New Roman and the size to 12 and make sure it's no longer bold but it's italics and then it has to be left alignment. Now we've changed the title, we go to layers, we change the layer as well to Times New Roman, Times New Roman and make sure it's 12 and we go ahead, go to the corner label and change that as well. So you have to make sure you change everything to the time, Times New Roman. And make sure that the size is 12 as well and the bold is not selected. You have to unselect that. Nothing should be in bold in your table. Now you go to data as well. You can see here that the data is bold. You have to untick that. Nothing should be bold like I said earlier. It's already in Times New Roman 12, which is good. So the caption as well, we change that to Times New Roman and 12 as well, make it 12. And then the last part is the footnotes. Change that as well to Times New Roman. So now we have just finished changing all the table content to the right font and the font size. The next thing we're going to change now is the borders. In the border section, you're just going to be concerned about editing three borders. The first one is the top inner frame. You can see it's double line now. You have to change it to single thin border, which is the this one, change it to single tin border, and for the bottom inner frame as well, you change it to the single tin bottom as well. The third part you have to change is the data area top, which is a thick border. You have to change it to the single border. Now that we've changed the border for the table, we can just click OK. Now we've actually changed our table to the APA format. So what you're going to do now is that you have to save the new look you just created. So you click on save as and you can you can save as new look. I don't mean the new look store. I mean a new look for your table or you can change save it as APA format or APA table, whatever it's easy for you to remember. If you're a Mac user, you have to go to your Mac add drive and select where you want to save that. So it's 
the, the folder is an IBM SPSS statistics 22 and it's gonna be in looks so you can save that in looks we save it so now that we save it the new table that we save should appear in the table looks file so we look for new look so here we are here is the new look here now what you're going to do is click OK, so the table will now be in the APA format, which we saved as the new look. Now you can see that your table is in the APA format. What we want to make sure is that every test we run in SPSS after this one will be automatically presented to us in the APA format. The way to do that now is to go to Edit, go down to Options, and select pivot tables so under the pivot tables you can see the table looks here and we created the new look so we select new look here and make sure that under copying wipe tables to the clipboard you have shrink width to fit so that whenever SPSS run the test it automatically shrink the content of the table to fit the width of that particular table and then you can simply click apply and you can now choose OK. So every test you run after this one will be automatically presented to you in the APA format so you can simply copy and paste it in your Word document just like I did here. So make sure you, you get it right. Your table initially will look something similar to this and after formatting in the APA style, you should have a new table that looks like this for your APA formatting. For those of you using Windows, your looks directory is going to be under your C drive and under SPSS, which is where you're going to save the new look that you have created. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and do share it with your friend that might find it very helpful.